Along Mexico's southern Pacific coast, floodwaters receded Monday, leaving behind devastated towns and 17 dead, after John struck the coast once as a hurricane and again as tropical storm last week. Desperate residents in the town of Coyuca de Benitez, about 35 miles west of the resort city of Acapulco, organized volunteers to go to outlying areas to burn the bloated bodies of farm animals that drowned. The carcasses could become a health risk, so teams of townspeople set out with cans of diesel to help them in their grim work. The Mexican army began delivering aid packages to families in the town that were hit last year by Hurricane Otis and then last week, twice, by John. Officials in Guerrero State, where both Coyuca and Acapulco are located, said more than three feet of rain had fallen in the region between September 23 when John made landfall to the east of Acapulco as a Category 3 hurricane, and Friday, when the rejuvenated tropical storm John came ashore again to the west of Coyuca. That meant the area got the equivalent of about 80% of the rain it would normally expect to see in a year, in just four or five days. The rain also set off landslides that collapsed houses and blocked roads in the mountainous terrain behind the coast. Pues ahora sí que fue algo muy espantoso, ahora sí que tuvimos que agarrar lo poquito que tenemos y vámonos porque pues ya venía la corriente, sí, entonces pues ahora sí que no tengo nada. Nada más de repente vino el agua y pues tuvimos que buscar un albergue, refugiarnos en donde. Y pues ahora sí que la estamos, la estamos sufriendo porque ahora sí que no tenemos ni comida. Sí. Ya está en una fase de, de recuperación, entonces este, ahorita por eso se van a empezar a hacer la, la entrega de despensas y también de acuerdo a los, a los censos que haga el, el gobierno federal para su adecuada repartición. A powerful typhoon lashed the northernmost islands of the Philippines Monday, prompting warnings and mass evacuations. Typhoon Krathen was last tracked over the coastal waters of Balintang Island off the provinces of Cagayan and Batans with sustained winds of up to 175 km per hour and gusts of up to 215 km per hour, according to government forecasters. The slow-moving Krathen was blowing westward and could strengthen into a super typhoon when it veers northeastward Tuesday toward Taiwan, they said. There were no immediate reports of casualties or damaged residents, locally renowned for their resilience against seasonal storms, strengthened their roofs with ropes, covered windows with wooden boards and secured their fishing boats away from the sea two days before the typhoon hit, he said. Hundreds of villagers were evacuated away from the coast and flood-prone communities in Cagayan province, where power outages were reported. Classes in all levels were suspended Monday in several northern provinces as a precaution, officials said. Sea voyages were also halted in northern towns and provinces being battered or threatened by the typhoon, locally called Julian, officials said. About 20 storms and typhoons batter the Philippines each year. The archipelago also lies in the Pacific Ring of Fire, a region along most of the Pacific Ocean Rim where many volcanic eruptions and earthquakes occur, making the Southeast Asian nation one of the world's most disaster-prone. In 2013, Typhoon Haiyan, 
one of the strongest recorded tropical cyclones in the world, left more than 7,300 people dead or missing, flattened entire villages, swept ships inland and displaced more than 5 million in the central Philippines.